Hello and welcome to this preview of the 2022 World Cup. I'm super excited. If it's every four years, I wait, you know, when this comes out, I go crazy. I buy the little book that you put the stickers on, you know, and, and, and everything, you know, we'll talk about that later. So right behind us, we have the poster. Uh, we have all the games there. They actually start this Sunday. Yeah. Uh, at right at 9 30 eastern time we'll have the opening ceremony and then the first game is at 11. uh it's qatar versus ecuador yep 11 eastern time so what we'll do is throughout this you know this world cup we'll, we'll come here sometimes we'll come live so you guys can talk with us sometimes we will actually um just pre-record and tell you you know who we think you know are gonna be playing give you kind of who's her just give you some kind of updates on what's going on yeah. but today we just want to kind of give you a preview tell us who we think are the best teams right now and um and also you know kind of make our picks and hopefully if you like this content comment down below tell us who you're rooting for and tell us any knowledge that you have about some of these teams i think together we can come up with with some some good chat here so we're gonna go get started right now in group a uh, we have the Netherlands, Ecuador, Senegal, and Qatar. And one thing that happened with Senegal, something that you actually told me about. Yeah, so Senegal, I originally, when I did my bracket on Fox Sports, I um, I picked Senegal to advance, Netherlands and Senegal to advance. But after I heard the news that their best player, Sadio, Sadio Mane, he's mm -hmm. not going to play. He's by far their best player for mm -hmm. Senegal. He plays for Bayern Munich. He's... Mm -hmm. Really great player, and yeah, it, is, it's, it was announced he was gonna miss the whole World Cup. So I, I don't think I'm gonna pick Senegal anymore. That hurts Senegal, you know, having the best player out. So we think out of this group, I think the the top team is gonna be the Netherlands. Holland is is, is a great team, followed by Ecuador. You know, Holland has that uh, player Vir Virgil uh, Van Dijk, I think it's called, uh, and he has the 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 Puy, the pie. Uh, Memphis, I Mem think it's Memphis the. I'll go the pay. The pay. Memphis the pay. Two great players there, and you know Netherlands. It is a very veteran team. Yes, uh, you yeah, you know, uh, they 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 had some weird name like the Orange Monster or something like that. I'm actually wearing you know some a little bit of, of their colors. Um, so they have a very. They're actually a good dark horse to pick in this World Cup. We think they're gonna they're gonna come out of Group A along with Ecuador. Um, those those are our picks there. Uh, for Group B, uh, we have England, USA, Wales, and Iran. Uh, England, I think, is going gonna, is gonna to dominate this group. Uh, yeah. That second position is going to be kind of very contended, but we think USA will pull it off and be the, the, the other team out of this group. If you don't know how it works, two teams out of this group, each group, come out to get into the the 16s and then the eighth and so on so uh you have to be the best two in the group by points and then based on if you're coming first or second in the group is where you where they seed you for the next round yeah, exactly so. so we'll be filling those things out we'll put there the scores again you know we'll kind of keep you posted here if uh, this is a place for where we actually if you chat with us we'll mention your name and you can be part of it this is a small enough channel that you can actually won't be ignored we'll we'll, we'll yeah. chat with you <laughs> I mean, we'll make sure <laughs> so group c uh we have argentina mexico poland and saudi arabia and uh one of the probably the best teams of the of the whole tournament is here which is uh, the argentina team they have great players like Lionel messi um they have the martinez as a goalie and they're they're on a streak right now they've won like 33 straight international 33 or 32 straight international games so. that is impressive and yep. messi is on a tear because last time you know he was pretty salty that that he didn't win yeah in 2014 yes he was pretty <laughs> and so he really wants it he really at one time he he even said he wasn't even going to play for a national team anymore i think that that's how upset he was and so uh, he wants it, and I think that team is going to be really tough to beat. Yeah. Um, so Argentina should come out first out of this, and uh, we're, we're picking Mexico to come out as the second team out of this group. Mm. Um, even though, you know, Poland has a good team, right? Yeah, they, well, 
So Poland's team, as I, I as I saw in the Euros and in the World Cup in two thousand, the Euros of 2020, 2021, uh-huh. and the World Cup of two thousand eighteen, um, their team was they, all they really had was a very good striker, Robert Lewandowski, who mm-hmm. plays for Barcelona, and that's about it. And Mexico, they're they usually a, a pretty balanced team, and Mexico has a streak of I think the last six or seven World Cups that they've advanced out of the group stage. So, wow. Yeah. That's a good streak. Um, mm-hmm. I think Mexico definitely will make it out of there. After that, they kind of, I don't know whatever happens. They they have a great team. They have great players, but something happens. It's almost like a curse that they can't get past and then they get beaten by some European team. Yeah, after so. the group stage, they can't get past I that. Know. And that streak of all the times in a row they've made it past the group stage, they also have a streak of losing after the group after stage. After the group so. stage, so look at that. So in Group D, we have Denmark, France, Tunisia, and Australia. I think this is kind of a, a an easy group for Denmark and France. They should come out of top. Um, now, France is also yes they're very very, they're very beat up it was just announced i think a couple hours ago that uh, benzema was gonna miss the world cup and he's he just won the ballon d'or so he's very good player and then it was announced earlier their best midfielders kante and pogba are both gonna miss the world cup so they're they're pretty beat up denmark i think it was the euros that they they really surprised everyone that they did a good little little run and they're they're a pretty balanced team yeah but um, something that a lot of people look at when doing the picks is something they call the curse of the past champion, which uh-huh. is basically the past champion usually never makes it out of the group stage. They usually Ooh. get eliminated there. But with this one, I just really don't see how Tunisia or Australia could knock off France. Mm. I mean, Will the curse get France or not? You never know, but I, I just really don't tell us, see Tell it. us what you think in the comment yeah. below. So is the curse going to grab France? And of course, Denmark has Christian Eriksson and and um, some 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 good players there too. Uh, definitely an experienced team. Um, so I I think they're gonna go actually pretty far. In Group E, we have um, we have Germany, Spain, uh, Japan, and Costa Rica. And although I always I don't know why I feel I guess I feel bad for them. I always pull for Costa Rica. They always make it there, and but they just. They just don't make a pass, you know. Yeah. Sometimes they make it out of the group, but then you know they lose really quickly. Uh, Germany is our top pick on this group. Yes, they're yeah, very, they're sure. very solid. They have Mueller back. They have Kimmich. I mean, they, 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 they're, they're pretty stacked. They, they have their keeper Newer. Yeah. Newer. I, I never know how to say his name, but it's been the same guy. He's, yeah. He's amazing. amazing I know. Keeper. And then Spain, we're talking about a bunch of talent, a bunch of people that you know in Europe they're just goal scorers. They have Pedri and, and they're uh, very good in the midfield and passing the ball around. Yeah, yeah. so we feel we feel pretty confident. It should be uh, Germany and Spain, um, Costa Rica and Japan again. The uh, Costa Rica has Navas, uh, and Japan has a, a player there, a Kakamada player. Uh, I was kind of reading a little bit about him, but I don't know much about him. But that's supposed to be his their best player, you know. Some of these teams have like one player that plays in in a in a in a strong league, and you know they're they're gonna help their team out. But you need a whole team. Yeah, <laughs> you need a whole team. So in Group F, we have one of my favorite teams, Belgium. Uh, I just think you know they have a bunch of exciting players. Uh, Croatia, um, Canada. And Mexico. Now you were telling me that Canada has a ha, no, not Mexico, Morocco. I think I need my glasses. Mm-hmm. Um, no, Canada. Yeah, no, no. And Canada Morocco. has. I said Mexico, but it's actually Morocco. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what you meant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you said Canada has a pretty good. team. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I've heard they have a pretty good team. I, they have Alfonso Davis, who's a pretty good player right uh-huh. here, mm-hmm. and. I don't know. Surprisingly, I remember a couple a couple years back, I heard Canada was doing pretty good, and that kind of threw me off. But. Yeah, I've never, of course, never seen them as as a great uh, soccer team. But our picks are Belgium and Croatia. Croatia did very well, um, and last time, and they usually have a strong team. Yes. And um, Belgium is just they have the Bruin, and I mean. They just have a, a plethora here of players that uh, we're picking Belgium to go pretty far uh, yeah. this year for sure. Um, then in Group uh, G, we have Brazil, Switzerland, uh, Serbia, and Cameroon. I love to see the, the African teams. 
since you know Senegal it lost their, their their best player I'm gonna be rooting a little bit for Cameroon here I, I like the underdogs to win yeah um, but see. if I have to pick you know professionally I will say Brazil and Switzerland should be the ones yeah out Brazil of this is just stacked they yeah. just have so much talent on their team and I we definitely see them as the favorites in this group mm -hmm. but yeah yeah they have Neymar Thiago I mean you name it. Uh, you 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 know some of these players. I was looking at the team picture and some of these people I've, I've saw four years ago. I mean, they have some some of the yeah. same players, plus some young guys who are actually very good too. So, I mean, they are they are stacked. Um, and the last group uh, is Group H, and there we have Portugal, Uruguay, uh, South Korea, and Ghana. Ghana. Um, Again, I think this is another group that the top two teams, Portugal and Uruguay, should have an easy uh, route here. The other two teams, South Korea is, is always tough, and there was a you know year actually. I think it was a year that it was in Korea and Japan yeah. that they got pretty far. But I don't I don't suspect that this time. Mm -hmm. um, Portugal should be there. Portugal has Ronaldo. Pepe, you name it, Martinez. They they they, they, they just they're yeah, also they, pretty. They have stacked. a good talented team. Yep. I don't. I think they're, they're gonna fall short, uh, but I still pick Portugal to definitely be one out of this group and Uruguay number two. So, tell us who you think. Who you think is gonna come out of this group? You know, pick two teams that you think are gonna come out of each group and put it in the comments. We're gonna pick an early final four this first day. It's kind of crazy to pick a final four. This thing hasn't mm -hmm. even started. But you know what? We looked at the brackets. We kind of did a, a, a mock uh, win and lose, whatever. And I got my final four and you got yours. So I'll go first. Okay. Uh, I'm picking my final four to be Argentina, um, Germany, Denmark, and Belgium. Those are my final four. I think those four teams have the best chance of getting right there to the end. And what are your final four? And my final four is Argentina. They've been the favorites for everyone's been picking them to win. And they're they're clearly one of the more talented teams there. But Brazil is also right there with Argentina. Talent-wise, they probably have more talent on their team than Argentina. Good pick. And then number three, England. Because England, uh, when, when we break it down, if you do the picks, it shows like their path. Their path is pretty doable. Like they can, they don't have like a huge threat on there. So I think they'll get by that pretty, pretty good. And then number four is Belgium. A lot of people claim like Belgium's overrated because in the Euros they didn't do the best and they're always rated one of the top teams. But I mean, the World Cup 2018, they they came in third and like they had injuries on that team. Like I still think Belgium is a very good, talented team. If so. if they play as a team, I think they have a great, great chance. So we got two in common. We got Argentina and Belgium in common. You know, mm -hmm. you pick. We both pick those two. And then you know the things that we have in uncommon is I'm going with with Germany and yeah. Denmark and you're going with Brazil and England so our friend Boris is gonna be happy that you pick England that's that's the team that that he's going for yeah. so guys just wanted to give you a quick preview just for you to know that we're gonna be covering the World Cup here will come sporadically but we also gonna come live and if we find a specific day then we'll do that and last thing I'm gonna leave you if any of you are doing the the filling out of this uh, the collection uh, I, I've done it before where we can email each other some of our things that we have repeated and we can kind of trade so you know it's, it's, it's very simple you kind of you know talk to each other what you need and then we can just mail it out and and receive it back and forth I got about 250 here to start having fun with it yeah it's and really fun it's like kind of a puzzle you just like try to find the players and match them to the team i know i still have mine from the from the brazil one was it was it the brazil i think it was the russia wait yeah, russia that was the last one the russia one so. yeah the russia one yeah so guys until next time i hope you enjoy this i hope that there's some uh world cup fans out there that can join us it's more fun when there's more people yes but we yeah. just wanted to get this out there tomorrow i mean this this might come out actually in the morning so it will be today for you guys but uh sunday at 9 40 eastern time should be the opening ceremony and at 11 our first game qatar versus ecuador you got a pick for that game i i know um 
I know Qatar is the home team, but I just, I really think, actually, hmm. I think Ecuador. I think Ecuador is gonna I, win. I'm picking like, Ecuador. Yeah. I'm picking Ecuador on this one. Uh, it, it, you know, those those Latin American teams are tough, and uh, yeah. I think Ecuador should win. And so we'll see. So guys, see you at the next time. Again, come here and share this with us, and hopefully your team wins. All right. Bye. Bye.